Hello everyone, it's Rank Up here, and today I'm providing yet another update on the state of Battlefield 4, and specifically the state of the servers and the new server hardware implementation. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why isn't DICE coming out and saying anything? Well, it's because DICE is being quieter than the enemy's footsteps on this issue. I'm not sure if they're just scared to say anything, uh, to maybe cause a placebo effect, or maybe they just don't want to, you know, say something that's fixed and then the community finds out it's not. They probably want to wait for everything to kind of, you know, work itself out first and then say, hey, you know, we're, we're still trying to iron these things out, but it looks like the servers are better. So I think they're going to wait for, you know, a time in the future, maybe within the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure. I can only tell you what I know so far, and it's based off of a post on Reddit. And a lot of you guys may be on there, maybe not, but basically a DICE dev named The Biking Viking has posted in regards to the servers. Now let me hop right into this. He says that the server hardware upgrades are technically not part of a software change log. The server hardware upgrades would explain why the rubber banding issues are reported as mostly gone. So let's kind of Let's look at that and see what he's trying to say. The first part, server hardware upgrades are technically not part of the software change log. What he's trying to say is when they release those server upgrade patch notes, it's basically what they can do software side. It's not going to say like we upgraded our server infrastructure. They're not going to note that in, in a software patch log. Okay, so. Although it would be nice to have some sort of post from DICE, you know, an official statement, I think it's safe to say that most of the servers have uh, been overhauled and upgraded with the latest technology. And hopefully, this is something that's going to help the stability of the game. Now the next part, when he goes in to say the server hardware upgrades would explain why the rubber banding issues are reported as mostly gone. Now this kind of has me worried because he's saying mostly gone meaning that some servers, some platforms still have rubber banding, still have lag, and obviously some netcode issues. So hopefully they can find a way to fix that. I don't know if it just means more servers added to their infrastructure or what the case may be. But check out this quadruple kill with the TV missile. Damn, that's a lot of kills right there, my friends. <laughs> All right, yeah, the TV missile in this game is quite a riot. Once you can learn to handle it, I mean, it is a bit finicky. There's a little delay on it, and input and some input lag, I guess you would call it. But once you get past that, it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a TV missile. But back to the topic of you know the the way these servers are being implemented, the way Dice is communicating. You know, is this, is this the way they should be doing it? Or should they be more transparent and kind of upfront with what they're doing? I mean, kind of leaving us in the dark, like I've said that before, but basically what that means is we're kind of figuring things out on our own. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but I mean, it would be nice to be you know, informed a little bit more about what's going on rather than trying to sift through all these forums, trying to find where the devs are writing about these things. So hopefully, you know, they, they try to work on that a little bit, maybe come out with an article soon. But I'm just reporting what I know, and hopefully it kind of helps you guys, you know, be more aware of what's going on with the game. Now, this is Carrier Assault. I haven't been able to play this for a while, but now that I can, I'm going to have a review up on Carrier Assault coming up shortly. So stay tuned for more episodes, guys. This is Rank Up, signing out.